What's up, everyone? We're back in Alton, Illinois, one of my favorite cities in all of the country. Checking out Johnson's Corner. This pub opened in 1979, right outside of a neighborhood. It's an Alton staple. Yeah, and it's a little bit off the beaten path, so if you're not from Alton, you may not have heard about it. Mm -hmm. But it, if you venture up the road from downtown, State Street just a little bit, you'll find this hidden gym. Great food, great drinks, and most importantly, great people. So uh, without further ado, uh, this- I'm Nick. And, I, and I'm Zach. And this is Raising a Glass with, with Nick, Nick and, and Zach. Zach. Come on. Not good. I got a lot of opinions. Just about stuff. So I feel like if we're at an Irish pub, we have to get Guinnesses. So Maddie, is it possible to get a round of, of Guinnesses for us? Gu awesome. Guinness. Gu Guinness. 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 Plural of Guinness is in <laughs> Still up for debate. You guys know how to pour an actual Guinness? Maddie's I've heard, I've heard there's a technique. Specific one. I always want to learn how to do this. All right, so what's the... I'm going to fill it up about a third of the way. What? A third? Say. That looks like two thirds to me. That much. A third remaining. That much. Okay. So give it a 45 okay. degree tilt. And then while he's doing that, you have to let this one sit. So it turns all dark. All right. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. It goes, it goes so far down. Let's go a little fast. That's a bad I feel like that's good. There you go. Yep. Yeah, um, I went a little too high. No, that's perfect. I went a little too high. Perfect. We're all right. It's all right. Now, how long do we have to let it sit? Um. So that this one. one's probably good. You see how it's all okay. dark. So not long. And then you're gonna push it back. Oh. For the rest, because it oxidizes it a little bit more. Okay. And, but uh, that's the thing of beauty. Maddie, thank you so much. You're welcome. That's dope. There's something about a Guinness in an Irish pub that just feels, it just feels right. Yeah. And like, and this is, this is the kind of Irish pub, like you, you don't get quite the feel of an Irish pub while you're in here, but like <laughs> Johnson family, they take St. Patrick's Day so seriously. Yes. Like on St. Patrick's Day, they have this whole area, their parking lot's blocked off. And it is a huge party. I mean, they've, they've even got uh, a St. Patrick's Day countdown on the wall. So they're always looking forward to St. Patrick's Day and it's big a deal. big cookout. I mean, and, and all, on top of that, like they they blow it out for all sorts of different events. High school football games, they're right, right down the road. Very involved with the community, very tight with, with families and individuals and people. And yeah, just a, a great spot to be, but they're very involved and put on a good time for everybody. So Maddie, what? are the go-to food items here at Johnson's. Okay, right, we'll start with the appetizers. Of course, where else would we start? I would say our homemade onion rings are my personal favorite. Super good. And I've heard my family, for some reason, they might, they might be the only people, so definitely tell me if they are. Uh, but cheese and crackers here? Oh yeah, absolutely. Our Why is that so special? Garlic cheese spread is homemade. Um, by a local grandmother and her granddaughter. Oh. They're the only ones that know the recipe and we, we, we caught it per year. Wow. Everybody loves it. So we'll get the, we'll get the onion rings going. We'll get some cheese and crackers. And yeah, and we'll figure something else Sounds out. Sounds great. Main deal. What's up, y'all? I'm here with my new friends, Tracy and Mark. These folks are locals and, and uh, frequent Johnson's Corner often. What do you guys love about Johnson's Corner? What What is like the magic of this place? It's just friendly. Very. It's, you know, you walk in, you know people, you see people. Um, we've known the bartender. We went to school with her cool. a long time ago. And um, yeah, it's just friendly, comfortable, delicious food. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna get out of here without somebody hugging you and <laughs> asking about your family and stuff. It's very, very down home. Now, are y'all from Alton here? 
live here now, yeah. Yeah, I, Very cool. I've been here since the 80s, yeah. What do you love about all? Everything. It's yeah. it's a great place. Um, very historic, and I'm very much into history and stuff like that. And um, a lot of these families have been here for a hundred years or more. Sure. So I mean, you know them, you know their whole family and stuff like that. Yeah. Very tight knit. All right, here's what I want to do. I want us both to take uh, a dip of this, swallow the whole bit, and you have to come up with one word to describe it. And we're going to say it at the same time. Okay? <laughs> you ready? Oh, all right. I'm just letting you know, mine's likely going to be like a more philosophical word. All right, I'll owe you your piece. If we're, think if we're thinking the same word, I'll give you a thousand dollars. No. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Hypnotic. Comfortable. <laughs> You said comfortable? I said comfortable. Like comfort food? Like cozy. Yeah, just like, oh, like, it's. I mean, it's not too much here or there. It's not spicy. It's not wild. But I said, like, this I, is just, oh. Yeah, I said hypnotic because it's like fusion, you know, like something's happening. Okay. Something's happening. Okay. I'm with you. It is good. It's, it's, wor it's worth getting. Very great. I, it's important that we state our biases here really quick. Yep. Both Zach and I live in Alton, so we're very fond of this town, uh, very familiar with what goes on here. Yep. But Alton is such a vibrant community, right? I'm, I feel like it's this awesome convergence of this sort of new energy entrepreneurship met with this rich history there. in the buildings and architecture. And so it's, it's a really cool town. Yeah for lack of a better word. Yeah. But and then like the last decade, the life that's been yeah. shot back into it. Like, so yeah, not only history, but that new life you're talking about, man. It's very present. Yeah. That's a freaking pile that's of O-rings. That's a plate. I don't... Ooh. Do you normally give this many onion rings or are y'all yes. just being nice to us? No, it's... This is a, this. It's this is a normal order yeah. of right. onion rings. You want to do the same thing we did with the cheese crackers? Feed them to each other like baby birds. <laughs> Here, you wrap your arm around mine. <laughs> you have your word. Mmm. Different. <laughs> I said vibrant. I said different. You different. Like different. not what you typically think of an onion ring? No, like the breading is way different. This is not your standard fried onion ring. That's what I'm saying. All right, we're at Johnson's Corner. Back to your favorite segment. How fast can Zach lose $5? We've had some pretty quick ones, but we're going to find out. One of my favorite movies growing up, Rocky. So that's what we're playing. Oh, we're up to $7 now. All right, so this might, hopefully this will take a while. We're going to have one spin left. And that's it. Time. <laughs> right at about a minute. Not great. Not our worst, but not great. One of the cool things here at Johnson's Corner is Stanley's Pizza. We were kind of getting some information uh, in addition to like the sign on the outside that says Johnson's Corner. There's a separate sign that says Stanley's Pizza. Uh, Stanley's Pizza was uh, someone who is involved here at Johnson's Corner had uh, this pizza sort of venture that they wanted to go on and open that sort of underneath the umbrella of mm -hmm. Johnson's Corner. So the pizza is incredible um, and it's cool, you know, to see someone with an idea being able to like partner with a bar like this and, and put that out. And I feel like that's such a family thing to do. Family business thing to do is like, oh, you got a great pizza, like you got a good pizza and you're making it yourself. Yeah. Come on, Stanley, Absolutely. get in Johnson's Corner. Yeah. In a bar that's been open since 1979, you know, obviously... That's a while. That's a long time. Before we were born. Long before we were born. Before my parents were even married. Let's, we're, let's not age people out of this. <laughs> 19, a bar that's been open since 1979, you know, has to have a rich tradition, though, yeah. of of good times and taking care of people. And, yeah. you know, I just feel that as we're sitting in here today. Absolutely. Ready for your food? Uh -oh. Yes. I did go ahead and give you a pizza. Yeah. That is so our what? pizza of the month. Every month we change it. The month of April is 
barbecue brisket. And it's so good. It's really good. I'm in for that. And what's this? This is our breaded pork tenderloin sandwich with fries. So this is like... The famous pork tenderloin sandwich, yes. Good. Wow. I feel like you really nailed it with the, the collection. Yeah. We, we, were, we were just talking about Stanley's Pizza and I'm like, we probably should have ordered some of that. That's perfect. It's but the luckily, best. Luckily, it's so good. Justin, you know, yeah, for sure. Stanley. That's so good. Stanley. Yes, Tip of the cap, Mr. Stanley. And that's a wrap here in Alton, Illinois at Johnson's Corner. I had an incredible time tonight. Maddie took great care of us. Thank, Thank you so much. Food was off the chain, drinks. Mm. Met up with our friends Tracy and Mark too. Just yeah. an awesome time. Zach, give us some highlights, man. Food, great. Drinks, great. People, great. Feel off the charts. Which is incredibly important. I love it. It's a great place. Johnson's Corner, can't beat it. So if you find yourself in Alton, Illinois, cruise up State Street, you're gonna want to stop at Johnson's Corner. Yeah. It's a heck of a time. We can't wait to see you here. Once again, I'm Nick. And I'm Zach. And this is Raising a Glass with, with Nick, Nick and Zach. And Maddie. And Maddie now. She's with us. Yes. <laughs>